Begin with a story you will only see right here on Local 5. As social distancing continues, the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development has become overwhelmed with calls from people looking for help with their unemployment claims. Local 5's Aaron Taylor spoke to one woman who's been trying to get someone on the phone for weeks. That's a sound Lorelai's heard a lot of. Over a hundred in the last two weeks. She's been trying to reach the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development since losing her job three weeks ago. I worked at a plastic factory up in Appleton. Lorelai legally changed her name a year ago. When I went to file my actual application for benefits, I was greeted with my former name. She says she called to explain the situation and had a conversation that left her confident that the issue would be handled. That's what they said that they would do. And when I logged back in and saw that my name hadn't been changed, I started panicking. Since then, she hasn't been able to get through. I've been trying to reach out to them again and again, and all I'm getting is busy signal. So she's been filing as is, something she's not comfortable doing. Now that I've been filing with that former name, I'm afraid that it's going to be con uh, considered a felony perjury. I have reached out to the Department of Workforce Development for comment on this story. They haven't gotten back to me yet, but they do have a message on the front page of their website that reads, DWD is experiencing an unprecedented call volume to our unemployment insurance and IT helplines. Lorelai's employment status isn't directly related to the coronavirus pandemic, but her inability to update her profile is. All these people wouldn't be flooding into the office to call in and make it impossible for me to contact them. She's one of many in the state trying to get help, but unable to get through. I feel like it's a failing on their part. In Nina, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. Thank you, Erin. Now, the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development has set up two separate Frequently Asked Questions pages, the FAQs, on their website that they ask people to read before calling to help reduce their call volume.